Good evening and salutations, my soap opera fans. So, Kelly's last days on General Hospital, and the question is, just get the hook. Now, it may sound like a straightforward answer, because I don't know if the chick is actually on contract or anything like that, but the hook killer is there, and um, she is uh, ready to strike. Got that venom in set and in place. I kind of doubt it, but you know what GH actually managed to do today was maybe want to watch the next episode. Um, I feel a bit off so far because I got um took a nap before I did this live stream. Like I woke up like maybe thirty minutes ago. And I'm wondering was that a good idea? Hmm. How you doing tonight, Mel? Thank you for joining. Spider Quake is in the chat. No, I know who's getting hooked. Who's getting hooked, Spider Quake? Jay Blue is in the chat. How you doing tonight? Tracy Steves, another one of my favorites, along with you, Mel. How you doing tonight? Spider Quake says also small chat because oh, because um, Lanikia is streaming, so probably a small chat. Okay, that's fun. That is fine. I plan on doing some more live streams as well. Um, I think I talked about it before. I'm going to be rolling out that new member thing, new membership thing on um, YouTube. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Pretty quick says, I think Brace going to save Joss and get hooked. Hmm. You know, somebody said that that um, Britt was going to save Spencer and get the hook. So I guess we'll find out. The Havlers in the chat. How you doing tonight? Happy New Year. Black Mond is in the chat. How you doing tonight? Thank you for joining. Spider Quick says if they do that, I hope they put her in a clinic. So maybe she can come back at some point. No, I said I was not feeling good. I have to sniff was off. No, it's all good. I'm, I'm, um, it's all good. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're. It's, you know, at the end of the day, Mel, as much as I love that you're being here, um, if you need the rest, I totally understand that. You know, I, I, I just hope that you feel better soon. Very quick, says, and not um, kill her. I'm doing good, Blackmon. I'm doing really well. Kyle says maybe didn't. Get anyone with what? Spider Quick says that felt like a really goodbye, like she never come back. Yeah, they, they really um is giving her a proper send off. How you doing tonight, AJ? Thank you for joining. It's always great to see you in the chat. Also, I'll probably sit there and say this more next week. Um, how you doing tonight, Laura? Spider Quick says the best send off. Exactly. Spider Quick, better than Luke. Better than Luke. As you said, today's episode was so lit. It was, it was good. I had his moments. Um, Apple is in the chat. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for joining. So it's good to see you in the chat. Now, so as I was watching next week. So, yeah, of course. You know, actually, it's kind of funny. Um, I did get a chance to see that on um, YouTube. I didn't get a chance to watch it yet, so I may watch it. I, I, so far, I saw a test and Mariah did, and already I knew it was like, man, they're going to be the worst part. They're going to be the worst part next next week. Yeah, she definitely is, AJ. Karen says, I love her. She was not so bad today. I have a question. How come Brick got such a nice send-off? Exactly. That makes literally no sense. Luke had such a trash send off. It was, it's insulting. Um, so I quick says I think those pictures actually, yeah, they were. They were. That's why I said that she got one hell of a proper send off. AJ said I got mad that, you know, oh DC's in the chat was good. All right, so here's my whole thing with Brit 
And I mean, here's my whole thing with, with Spencer and Trina. Trina was so broken up last week, crying left and right. Oh, Rory, Rory, Rory. I can't believe you're gone. Less than two weeks, she's already about to sit there and kiss um, Spencer. Like, does the word disloyal just comes to mind when you sit there and think about Trina? All that crying and BS and everything like that. And now you raise the thing, kiss um Spencer like like you ain't just buried the dude like last week. Absolute one hundred percent trash. Um, DC says Luke's send off was terrible. Yeah. He definitely did, do you see? He definitely did. Spike Quick says also think Britt deserves that send off. I know she hasn't been No, I mean it's not it's been it's, it's Spike Quick. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve it, but hers was better. Than a legendary character like Luke Spencer. Are you kidding me? Ethel said Trina says she didn't love Rory. No, she didn't, but she cried and and whined and, and acted all super sad. And it was one episode she had her hair in a mess. I mean, it, it just comes across as disrespect, to be honest. That's that's the way I see it. Mel says I was not liking Mariah and Tess again, but I know what the storyline is about. Oh, okay, so Karen said Trina got over very fast. Yeah, she she certainly did, less than two weeks. I don't even think that body is actually even that warm yet, that, or that cold yet. But Mel, I mean, we know what their storyline is overall. It's just them being there is filler. It's 100% filler, and it's trash. It's honestly trash because they deserve better than that, but... <clears throat> AJ said, well, Trina was never really in love with Rory, so it should take it should take a couple of days. Jesus Christ, that's some um, wow. A couple of days? Damn. Okay, well, I'll agree, agree to disagree with you on that. Kai Reese is in the chat. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for joining. Kai one says, think they like Anthony Anthony Gray on um, Get um Gary Gary ain't liking that much. They they gave Kelly a much better send off. He says I didn't. I feel like they didn't give him the proper send off because of the history of Luke and Laura. Regardless of how people feel, Luke was a legend. You can excuse. You can excuse Todd, but not Luke. You know, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, it's when I when I thought about when I was a lot older, I couldn't really excuse Todd's stuff. So honestly to tell you the truth, they're, they're both in the same boat. AJ says a Trina should a Trina should. I don't care, Rory was useless. No, I mean I, I get like I said, I agree to disagree on that one. I'm just saying it just it comes across as pretty disrespectful and the whole crying and tears and stuff like that meant nothing because Clearly, less than two weeks, you ready to sit there and kiss some new dude? Like, like you didn't just bury him? Like, you didn't sit there and act like you were super sad about it? So, it's, I, I agree to disagree with you on that. Um, DC says do something well and sunny this week. Um, I think they're gonna be fine in all reality. I mean, it didn't seem like you know this seems like the it just didn't seem like the first time. Um, that Leo has got caught in between both of them. And they usually still always stick together. Mel says, yeah, it was trash with them not getting... Yeah. All they're there for is filler. All they're there for is for the studio to sit there and just do a check. And that's it. Colin says, I think they like... they. I don't understand why he keeps Mr. Cindy. Well, I don't understand how, they, how would they like Anthony. And I get, I get what DC was saying, but like... I, you know, I get it, DC, but I honestly tell you at this point, I, I just, I feel like that's just an excuse that we're just going to sit there and give Trina for just being the quote-unquote couple of Sprina. And that's fine. If, if that's the case, if people want to sit there and try to write that off as, well, you know, she wasn't really in love with him and her heart wants what she wants, we can sit there and try to dress it up a thousand different ways. But let's be honest, that's literally what we're doing. But again... I respect people that that is thinking that way. For me, I'm I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. Um 
And also, I feel like the Diane and Sally show now. You feel like it's the Diane and Sally show. Why? Why would you say that for? I think they actually do good. I actually do do a good job as far as rotating rotating these people. Hmm. Okay. All right, you're right, DC. I, I don't know the history of that. So yeah, you might be right. Freddie so I was laughing when it came out Jocelyn. Unknown self. Yeah. Yeah, Freddie, I, I was not a fan of that. <laughs> I was I was not a fan of that. I'm like, you gonna sit there and and call Sonny all sorts of names. Like Dante is not his son. What kind of disrespectful ish is that? AJ says, I think Britt went to being safer. I guess we'll find out. I doubt it, though, AJ, because Britt is still at the party. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess we'll find out on Monday. We will all find out on Monday. Monique says, I hope Josh gets done. <laughs> Laura says, unless they're going to do the way of... Oh, postpartum. Oh... I mean, you know, to be honest, she did sleep with two people, like literally almost back to back. So, AJ, um, AJ says at least um, Trina grieved. Yeah, yeah, she she totally grieved. Her her hair looked messy. She looked like she hasn't slept in days. Yeah, she really looked like she grieved. Poor Trina. And DC says, but Albert, haven't you ever been with a girl and then broke up and when you... Yeah, but here's the thing, though. The girl wasn't dead. <laughs> the girl wasn't dead. I wasn't sitting there emotionally in my bed for, like, about a week or so, just really in tears and shambles. And then, like, damn near a week after, um, you know, a week after, I'm sitting there kissing somebody else. Here's the thing, DC. I know I come across as a dick, okay? I get that. I'm practically being a dick right now. But I'm not going to sit there and just accept the fact that Ethel says Rory was a friend to Trina only. She grieved him like she would any other friend. Well, damn, I hate to be her friend then. I'm sitting there taking me on these fancy expensive dates. I'm sitting there talking, uh, I love you. Sleeping on the damn floor. <laughs> Sleeping on the floor. I'm dead less than two weeks, and you already sniffed there and moved on to somebody else. I guess you just consider me in a friend zone. You're going to be honest with me, but okay. All right. <laughs> uh, Jay Blue says Josh is following Michael C. Yeah. Oh, your voice is in the chat. Was good. Kaiwan says, how many lives? I, I don't know what you're saying. Um, I'm sorry. I just, I, I'm not trying to be a dick. I just really don't know what you're saying. Sometimes DC says, but stop it. If the person. It, you know, I should tell you the truth, DC. It, it would still come down to a matter of class. It would still come down to a matter of class. And I've, I've never been one person to sit there and be like, I don't really care that much, you know. Yeah, I am. I'm sorry, DC. It's just it's not going to be a comparison. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> she ain't getting off the hook. Okay, Trina's not getting off the hook. I felt like that was just. AJ said, "I'm sorry for coming off." No, AJ. Trust me, you're fine. You're fine. This is what we do. We have conversations. We have back and forth. It is all good. It's all good. It's all love. I love seeing you in the chat. So if we go back and forth, it's, it's out of love, um, AJ. Aaron says, how many people did not care that Michael Willow got it? I totally, I almost, I almost forgot to say that in my review. Come on, says, we'll love the characters worry. Damn right I said that, DC. Damn right I said that. Shakira's in the chat. Was good, Shakira. You know, Mel, I'm not going to lie. Jay Wen was overacting all of it. 
Someone says, oh, were you with the pull of the characters for tonight? What are you talking about? Oh, also, you know, since um, no one actually really said a comment or a com question towards me, so next week, I may actually, depending on how everything works out, I may actually want to do another collab with another content creator. Another soap opera content creator. I'm not going to sit there and say any names. It's still going to be a surprise. It's still a work in progress. But if everything goes well, um, there's a possibility I'm going to be doing another live stream, um, another collab with another um, person in this field. Um, so definitely look out for that because it's, like I said, this year or next year, I'm working on some very, very, very exciting stuff. Um, and I haven't really been so excited to actually start working on some stuff in a while. So I'm, it's going to be, it's good. It's going to be a good year, people. It's going to be a good year. Lois says the only thing that would make Willow interesting is she was secretly hooking up with TJ. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, I have to tell you, too, Michael and Willow were the worst part of this episode. He said, but for the first time I'm on Trina's side, she's definitely showing class. However, she wasn't Rory's wife. So, so pretty much F him. <laughs> is that, is that what you're just saying? So just, it's pretty much F him. All right. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's, yeah, that's totally showing class right there. Jessica's in the chat. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for joining. Hey, Jesse. Yes, it's, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's, it's someone that people know. I'm not going to sit there and say who, but it's someone that people know. And um, let's just sit there and say it's going to be one of the one of first of many of what I'm going to be doing or surprises I'm going to be doing this year. Now, Laura says, imagine how Michael would look if he was helping Willow get birth and, uh, and he saw a tiny chocolate. Oof. Oof. Wow. <laughs> Jessica's in the chat. How are you doing tonight? Um, Shigeru watch days first. Actually, to tell you the truth, yeah, no, watch days. Jace was actually decent. Jace was, was actually good today. So you're not going to be disappointed by, 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 um, Jace today, surprisingly. Makai's in the chat. How are you doing tonight? AJ says Mike and Willow were not needed in today's episode. They really weren't. You know, Jessica, I may actually want up sleeping. <laughs> I may actually want up sleeping. DC says, I didn't say F word, but how long is Trina supposed to grieve over man? She didn't really want to be able who barely. I don't know, DC, but I will sit there and say this. You're you were with that guy for about two weeks. Oh, values in the chat. You were with that guy for about two weeks. Well, you are with him longer. He's been dead for about two weeks, and you're already just like, it's, you know, I have to tell you the truth. <laughs> I, get, I get what you're trying to, I have to tell you the truth. Sometimes I, I'm not going to lie. Do you see when I'm talking to you, I almost feel like I'm talking to Nina to some extent. And I don't mean it as, a, as an insult, but yeah. Um, Valerie's in the chat. How you doing tonight, Valerie? Jessica says, why was Joss on the docks? Because she's an idiot. And she felt she didn't need Sonny's protection after she practically dis you know, called him all sorts of names in front of Dante's face. DC says, what are your new resolutions for your personal life? You know, subscribers want to know. Oh, I haven't thought about that, honestly. I got I, I want I want to sit there and actually have real um resolutions. This year, I do. I want to have some real resolutions. And the only thing I actually thought about was the was the channel, was the YouTube channel, as far as my plans and things I want to do with it. That says I love Stephanie and Gabby as a couple. Then, well, I mean, honestly, tell you, but I don't like Chloe, so I got my endorsement. Karen says Esme did not think her plan. Yeah, I'm like Karen. I'm like, what the hell was she thinking? Oh, let me just throw a fire in this room and hope that Nicholas comes to save me. Like, seriously. 
the room is literally burning around her. And she's like, I don't, I don't know if this was such a good plan. You set up Trina. She was about to go to jail. And you somehow thought lighting a fire in an enclosed room was a great idea. Freddie says Esme was cuckoo for fun. Yeah, she, I, I, I mean, I guess her thing was like she'd rather like jump than go back. Yeah, I mean, again, DC, it's just like when you start trying to um, give rhymes and reasons to certain things that sometimes I'm just like, what? <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm talking to Nina a little bit. She cares says GH first and days. No, days first and then GH. If, if you're asking my opinion, days first and GH. Um, Shakira, no. Curry says, I'm glad Esme got away from Nicholas, too. She should, she should push him down where she should have. Now, DC says, Albert's giving Lee Shen bomb. <laughs> yes, I, I'm, I'm, um, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm really excited. I got some, I got some stuff cooking. I got some stuff cooking, so... Yeah, Shakira, Dazed and GH. I was just telling you, if you're not going to be disappointed with GH, honestly, I wasn't disappointed. Except for Mike and Willow. Mike and Willow, just, you know, the, the actors are just there to get to get paychecks. Let's let's just be honest. It was said, oh, Travol says it's obvious that GH cares about Trina. I guess. I feel like mm, screw it. I'm not even going to get back on um, Trina. Mel says, well if, I, well, if I saw that Eric already kidnapped Rachel and seeing. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm like, yo, um, Brady better play this up. He better get the performance of his life. Like, his life depends on it. Is it? it well, it, certain women's lives depends on it. Rachel and Days come second to me. Huh? I feel you, AJ. DC says, what did you think was the direction they should have went with Rory? Any direction that made him interesting. Any direction that made him interesting. You know, they they could have went to Miss Wu route. They could have they could have made him the hook killer. They they could have done so much more than what they did with him. In all reality, Nama says, Do you think it was smart for Rave and Jade to yeah, well, I mean, false sense of security, like Rafe said. And they couldn't really, you know, Rafe really couldn't keep them much longer. You know? So, yeah. Medora's in chat. Nose is not that... Nose is that much with the ratings. What does that mean, Medora? Nose is that much with the ratings. What does that mean? Um... Tarot says they care about her life. No one cares about Spencer's life unless it's with Trina. Hmm. Think so. I mean, honestly, to tell you the truth, Tarot, as much as a rich, spoiled prick of a character Spencer is, they do make him interesting. If nothing else, he annoys me to the point where it's like he doesn't bore me. So, um. But that's just my opinion. Laura says, Eric kidnapped Rachel. Does he have a death wish? Yeah, I, I'm like, I don't. I really think it's a stupid plan, Lauren. I, I really do. Um, Freddie says, Britt's birthday bash was so epic. Yeah, I mean, they they, they did a real proper send-off with, with Britt. A much more proper send-off than they did with Luke. Or pretty much any other character for that matter. Oh, even Nathan had a better send-off than Luke. Nathan had a better send-off than Luke. What does that say? And it says, laid in bed, brother. Oh, you, you're lying in bed? Well, I was lying in bed for about a good hour and a half sleeping. AJ says, what if Rory really faked his death to make everyone think he's dead? What if he really is the hog? Then that would make him a hell of more interesting. Apple says Eric kidnapped Rachel, but, Ray, but Brady is in on it. Yeah. Big Samuel's in the chat. Was good, Samuel. 
You know, DC, we can both agree on that. Oh, okay, all right, all right, Madonna. Yeah, Sam, I mean, um, uh, DC, we can both agree on that. When is the ride to die chick? Okay, and she has a nice accent. So, Colin says, I don't think I have enough money back from work. What? Okay. Um, DC says, facts Nate sent off was kind of epic. Luke, yeah. I'm like, come on now. They, they done Luke so dirty. I don't understand the balance with, with this show sometimes. I really don't. Um, oh, Shauna's in the chat. How you doing tonight, Shauna? Mo says, well, the happiness is on Lee Shen phone with. You're right. You're absolutely right, Mel. And you know what? Let's just sit there. Um, why the Esme jump dumb makes no sense. You know, Shauna, I think Esme was like, well, I'm not going to be another, I'm not going to be a prisoner anymore. So she rather jump and die than be a prisoner. Cameron says, yeah, Nate Sendoff was nice. Dolphin, it was. But let's, yeah, let's talk about, let's, let's quickly talk about, um, for people who watch days, let's talk about the wedding. Somebody said in the comment section that Shen's own dad, Shen's own dad couldn't even be bothered to show up at his at his son's wedding. So Rafe had to be his best man. So Gabby couldn't even be, quote unquote, given away properly because Shen doesn't really have any friends. He doesn't have a best friend. So and his dad couldn't be there to help him out. Isn't that just kind of weird? I, somebody said that in the comment section. I was like, wait. That's a really good point. Probably said, kind of sad seeing Epiphany with Brit today. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's sad. I, 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 it was a good send off. Oh, oh, no, it was a good send off. And um, hopefully they do something with it. Jay Z is in the chat. Was good. Shakira says, I'm going to try and give. Thank you, Shakira. Thank you. And thank you also. Um, Yeah, if you, 35 people in the chat, seven likes. So if you are enjoying the stream, it really does help me out. So I would greatly appreciate it. How are you doing tonight, Jay-Z? Samuel says, days need to get rid of Lee. That guy can't act. Oh. <laughs> Samuel, I, I, I really can't wait for you to come. For you to um, do a YouTube channel one day. Y'all yeah, think that I'm harsh. <laughs> y'all think that I'm harsh, but I got nothing on my guy Samuel. I got and I, I, don't, I don't mean that in, in, in a disrespectful way, Samuel. You just, you tend to cut to the truth. Like, really cut to the truth. That was a shame that doesn't like Gabby. Yeah, but I mean, you can sit there and support your son now. You know? Like, you couldn't be bothered to show up for the wedding? Like, that's that's so... Ugh. Shauna says, I'm glad Lee and Billy want a break. Shauna, you don't like you don't like Billy? Nikisha's in the chat. The one and only Nikisha's in the chat. Medora says, Rory... I'm thinking got the Chicago PD job right after. Yeah, I think he's a lot happier, to be honest. And he said, was Josh really going to break out with him? Oof. Yeah. That's 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 the disrespectful level that Josh is at. That's the, yeah. She was going to break up with him. I mean, I guess she could have just waited the Valentine's Day and do it, do it too. And just be like, well, this is the only time I can actually talk to you. Oh, disrespectful. Disloyal ass. Jimmy says, Lee's dad don't even show up to... <laughs> well, I think he probably works on remote, but I mean, the point is, like, the dude could have showed up. You know, it made the whole wedding awkward when you really think about it. Shauna says, Britt left on her own terms. Yeah, no, I, I get that. No, Shauna, I'm talking about what you don't like about Billy, though. Or what did you, what did you don't like about them as a couple? 
And Keith said, and Josh was going to break up with him at his job. Yeah. New Year's Eve at his job. Like, I mean, granted, it, when you really think about it, sometimes it's better to rip the band and write off. But yeah, no, I, I, I totally get the setup, though. Yeah, Janet. Um, her 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 departure was better than Luke Spencer's. <laughs> Let's all think about that for a minute. Mel says Rafe thought that a rock scientist could figure out why. Mm. It was a good episode, but I'm gonna be honest. I felt I felt like it was a little flat though too. You know, Gabby finding out it should have been more yelling. It should have been more crying. It should have been more something. She seemed like she was more perturbed, like. She was at a red light for too long and somebody cut her off. She didn't seem like the type of level of anger that I would expect one to be. Angelique is in the chat and says, I know who the hook killer is. I saw his face. Well, that looked like it was a master. And he did say it was a her. Laura says, um, Shana says, I love Billy, but they never should have been together. What you don't, um, why shouldn't they have been together? AJ said, Luke deserved nothing. I'm sorry. I'm glad he's gone. Oh, wow. What you didn't like about, um, what you didn't like about Luke, um, AJ? Medora says, Billy needs a job. Yes, but technically Billy's rich. So does he really need a job? It's not like it's not like the habits don't have money. I mean, yeah, for self confidence and worth and yada yada yada. I mean, does he does he really need a job? Um, Angelique says, "Is Sonny's the actor's real son?" Ooh, what makes it okay? Okay, so it uh, seems like Angelique got got the scoop. Um. Where, what, what makes you, what, come on, you, you gotta give us some more info on that. You can't, you can't, you can't just, you can't just drop a bomb like that. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. But he says, Josh, no, she wasn't right for that. She wasn't. But she wasn't right for doing half of the stuff she was doing with Dex, and that didn't seem to stop her. Shauna says, Lily's too wimpy. Uh, Dolly, one of my other favorites is in the chat. Uh, Jay Z, I, I probably plan on sleeping. Been a busy boy this week. <laughs> um, the reviews, the day job, the doing it five days a week. I'm probably if I if I'm probably gonna sleep for a little bit and I'm gonna sit there and um binge watch Cobra Kai. I'm gonna binge watch Cobra Kai. Oh, I can't wait to watch Cobra Kai. I miss that so so much. I think that show actually ended. I'm like a year behind on that show. So that's that's plan that's probably what I plan on doing is binge watching Cobra Kai. What about you, Jay Z? What do you plan on doing for New Year's Eve? And what you know what? What does everyone has does anyone actually have plans for New Year's Eve? Jimmy says, honestly, I don't think Gabby. My God, thank you, Kyrie. Thank you so much. That wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Samuel says, honestly, I don't think Abby was angry. I think she was happy that she didn't have to go through with the marriage. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I get that. I just, I wish it would have been a bigger performance. Thank you again, Kyrie. You are a true rock star. Um, you know, Dolly, I'm not going to lie. I felt like it was a little flat. I felt like it was a little flat. I felt like she should have been much more angrier than what she was. Um, Angelique says, I saw a clip on how he was acting last time we saw him with Jaws was helping Dex. She bumped into him in the hall. They're saying, is him some sick reason? Hmm. You might be right. Freddie says the hook looks like a teenager. That's true. 
Thank you, Kyrie. Thank you. No, my God. Thank you. I really appreciate that. This, this, what, what I do right now is fun as hell. Um, and it's, it's people like you that, that really keep me motivated. So thank you. They just said work and go straight home afterwards. I plan, I plans before, but they change. Um, yeah, Jay, I'm, I'm working too. I am working too tomorrow. Nice, Lauren Lice. Okay. Tracy says, from the years going to stay home, finish my vision board, watch movies, and order some sushi. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to Times Square. That's for sure. Um, Tracy says, from New Year's, going to stay home. Okay. Dilly says, Gabby played the real kind of low key. I'm seeing. Exactly, Dolly. She seemed like she was mildly annoyed. Like somebody cut her off in traffic. I'm sitting there, I got my donuts right and everything like that. I'm just like, yeah, she seemed like she was kind of bothered, but like, it wasn't the worst, but I, I like you, I expected, I expected bigger. Yeah, Jay-Z, yeah. Thank you, Jay-Z, thank you. I look forward to you, to you going along with this ride because it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a fun ride. So thank you for just being here so far. AJ said the Hulk has the height of Rory. And also the height of um, Maurice, Maurice, Maurice Bernard's son. So DC says, Hobbit, best new character on the soaps this year. Hmm. It's hard to sit there and say the best new character, but the best new character introduced have to be Sloan. It has to be Sloan. The way that they, that they introduce her into the show, it has to be Sloan on Days of Our Lives. Freddie says, I'm going to watch it. Oh, nice. Okay. Angelique says, yes, he is the right. Yeah, I can, I can, I can totally see it. Now, Jay Blue says, I'm staying in and watching the Chicago ABC Countdown. Oh, they're putting, they put on a great dance performance. We'll be drinking. Nice. Sounds all, that sounds really good. I gotta, oh, I gotta renew my license so I can sit there and get some alcohol. I mean, I was planning on doing that anyway when I did my taxes, but I gotta, I gotta do that though. Uh, Lauren says, why don't you want to go to Times Square? Always looks, um, it just looks like it's just going to be a hassle, you know, just a real big headache. It looks like it's fun when you get there. And then, you know, you got COVID and everything like that. So it's like, you know what? I, I'd rather just not really deal with all that, you know? Totally says Gabby had a bigger showdown with Lonnie and, oh, yeah. Exactly, Dolly. Exactly. Shauna says, why did Maxi put Cody in Brits? Yeah. Maybe she did that before. That's a really good question. That's a really good question, Shauna. Do you see this New Year's? I'm going on a fast for a few days to get some cleansing on some things. Really, DC? Because when I don't eat, I just become miserable to be around. <laughs> I become miserable to be around. If I don't eat, I become miserable to be around. Ethel says Sloan is a horrible character. Okay. Well, I respectfully agree to disagree with that. Um, I just like the way that she was introduced, you know, into the main cast. It just had a way of making it work. Dolly, yeah, definitely Dolly. I had a way of making it work. Simon says Billy needs to be alone for a few years. He should have made that podcast. He had a gossip podcast that misdeeds of the other character's history. I mean, yeah, same, you know, I'm not going to lie. Same, in the beginning, I felt like the podcast was just very weird. And two, Chelsea came along. 
and then it, and then it got interesting. Then it got interesting. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's probably going to be a whole thing with with Adam and Chelsea and 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 Billy. I feel like that's going to be a thing. And you know, I actually tell you, what was the point of Lily even suggesting couples therapy or couples counseling when she decides to break up with him on New Year's Eve? Oh, I'm sorry. She decides to take a break on New Year's Eve. What was the point of that? Kyrie says, what do you think of Andre Maddox? Do you think he's um should come back to Port Charles? Um, maybe. But I, I'm gonna be honest, they got they already got too many characters on there. They really do. They got way too many characters on that show. Daisy Flowers in the chat was good. Curry says, even on my diet, I got to eat. Or, yeah, exactly. I'm like, I am not I am not a nice person to be around. <laughs> I'm probably kind of depressing to be around too, so no. Hmm. Daisy Flowers says, I thought I'm I thought of going, but changed my mind. Hmm. I mean, if you do, you know, just be careful and have fun, really. AJ says, I'll add him as me. Or the AD is the hook. Yeah, it's definitely circling down. It's definitely circling down. Shauna says, everyone was saying Brit was going to get the hook. It makes no sense. I mean, it's just a theory that a lot of people are, 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 are going with. Uh, Jay-Z said, protein bars. Angelique says Jordan needs a man. No, she's not going to get that with Curtis. DC says some people say they want to take a break. It really means, yeah, I want to get out of this relationship as soon as possible. Exactly. I'm like, why Why even bother? That's my whole thing. Though. Why even bother to go through the whole couples counseling thing or even saying that for her? Tracy says I've done a choose fast before, but never would a fast. It's not a bad idea if your body is strong enough to do it. If your mind is strong enough to do it too. Um, you know, Daisy Flower, I'm thinking that it's gonna be Dex. Dolly says, or or maybe Cam. Maybe Cam. Maybe Cam is gonna get the hug. Dolly says, I hope they don't use the step in storyline to make Gabby go to solve. I miss schemer Gabby. That was definitely before my time. Now Kyrie says Lily is uptight. Yeah, you know, honestly, to tell you the truth, Lily is very uptight, and Billy is very laid back. And she was like, the only thing that they had in common was work. I'm like, you didn't think about this before when you were sitting there with him? I'm sorry, but her reasoning is just idiotic. Oh, she's, she's, in, she's in a movie, too. She's also in a new movie. I mean, I think it's one of those going straight to DVD movies where she's like, in a relationship with some sort of um, YouTuber, actually, um, gaming streamer. Kind of said, I hope they wrap up these storylines now. So, was Nicholas and Liz Endgame? It's a really good question. I'm looking forward to seeing who the new person, who's going to be the new Nicholas. That's who I'm looking forward to seeing. And DC says, I like when in a relationship, one person will tell the other or two different people who transition is you're boring as hell and I need someone more interesting. You know, DC, I was actually going to sit there and wonder. You're not, you're not doing a live stream tomorrow, are you, DC? I'm only asking because Saturdays always seems like it's, it's your day to do streams. Um, Freddie says it looks like Pretty soon, Carly is is going to get the smoke from Nina. Now, the question is, Freddie, is Carly going to get the smoke from Michael? That's the question. Laura says, Gabby is delicious when she is evil. Gabby is not supposed to be sweet. Hmm. Now, Nikisha says, I feel like Billy and Lily only got together to get back at Kane and Victoria. Hmm. Might be right. I mean, you watched the show longer than me, so I'm 
I'm taking my cues from everyone else. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you. <clears throat> so this is on the the Gabby that switch permanently test. Oh wow. Yeah, Karen. I, I, same. Yes. Um. Thank you, um, Valerie. So yeah, we got. 40 people in the chat. We got 13 likes. So if you are enjoying the stream, hit the like button. It really does help me out. Um, but also, I just want to thank everyone for just joining. I know um, Lanikia is actually going to be doing, or is she doing a live stream already? She here says, oh no, Freddie says, Cindy Watts is going to kill it. Oh, she she is. Cindy Watts has been doing acting for a long time. She 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 knows what she's doing. Friday Quick says Nina gonna steal the hook killer's hook and the hook Carly. That's funny. DC says I may do a live stream tomorrow. And yeah, Saturdays are kind of my thing. Since you and James got the rest of the week, while well, James is any hour of anything. <laughs> yeah, DC, I don't know. I, I feel I don't know. I just feel like every time on Saturday, it's just like, all right, around six o'clock or whatever, let me sit there and check out DC. Kind of like when I used to do my all my live streams on Sundays. People got used to that. So um, I feel like Saturdays is your thing. And Daisy Floss says the Carly smoke won't last long. Unfortunately. But yet he's ready to sit there and send his dad to prison. So, you know, that's something. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm still trying to read your 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 message, and I'm not getting it. Um, Victoria says, "Hey, Albert, I agree with you." Gh review. Yeah, exactly. Um, Victoria, because it's like, yo, listen, I'm not going back to I'm not going back to being a slave anymore. The chick is pregnant, and I, I get that a lot of people don't like her, but I'm like, she looked at it like, yo, I would rather jump than to be sent there doing doing that again. And how are you doing tonight, Victoria? DC said, yes, that is kind of my thing, my time. I'm trying to be consistent with it. Plus, tomorrow is, is New Year's Eve. Yeah. I think it'll be a really good time. You know, DC, if you, if you go if you go live, you know I'm going to sit there and put it in my community tab that you're going live. So. Damn, that's amazing. That's still, it's still warm. John says they're constantly forcing Sunny and Nina down our throats. Mm, maybe. I, I don't, I, you know, it's, it's weird to sit there and when people sit there and say force. John said, I mean, Samuel says Lily should be running the cosmetic line as a competitor to Victoria Rash and Sassy line. She can, she can call it Rash and Sassy line. Hmm. Yeah, Daisy Fly. Yes. That dude Ben probably wanted to leave for a long time. But they just keep throwing more money at him. Mel says, did you think them? Oh yeah, Mel. Yeah, Dan's gonna make everything a lot better. Denise Jenkins is in the chat. How you doing tonight, um, Denise? And happy 2023 to you too. I just said I'm glad it hasn't escaped, but she still needs to pay for what she did to Trina. <laughs> you don't think that she's already paying so far? No, says, is that ice cream on? No, it's um, it's just noodles. Eagle Fang is in the chat. What's good, Eagle Fang? Eagle Fang says, what's up? What is the point of Josh getting, getting hooked? We all know Dex will kiss the poison. <laughs> You know, honestly, to tell you the truth, it's just karma. Her mouth has been running for quite a while. Sammy says, Winter Lily cos um, Cosmetics. Winter's Lily's Cosmetics. I like that. Now, Kai Wen, this is a, I mean, DC, this is a question for you. Kai Wen says, Black hole for DC, though. 
So, DC, that's that's a question for you. Kaiwen says black hole for DC. Jessica says I can't believe Esme escaped like that again. Yeah, and pregnant too. Hmm, great timing, Eagle Fang. Now DC says Abra and this mystery guess is giving. DC, you can never be done with the jokes. Never. I will not allow it. Even, I will not allow it. Think, um, Denise says at this time, Josh is in danger. Bridge one. Yeah. Denise, all, all that yin yang, all that smack that she was sitting there talking before, now she's standing there looking stupid. Jakaris is in the chat. What's good, Jakaris? Eagle Fang says Esme has a twin sister. Watch. It's like another Ryan Chamberlain with her. That would be interesting, Eagle Fan, because you know when when people do have twins, it's most likely that they'll sit there and produce more twins. Exactly, DC. I'm not gonna lie. When I read the last name, so I was like Jenkins. That seems kind of that seems kind of familiar. Simmons says I didn't finish the sentence. It could be called Winter's Lily's Cosmetics. I like the sound of that. I, I mean, I doubt that um, Devon is going to go for that, but that'd be an interesting little twist, though. Mel says, um, Victor is going to cause problems with salary and prayer. Yeah, of course he is. That's what he does. DC says, I didn't, I didn't understand his question, though. Oh, okay. I just I I just want to point it towards you. Um that he had a question for you. And Shana says Joe's not gonna have Chancellor because they still want to go public. Kaiwen says, How do I stream? Okay, Kaiwen asks Eagle Fang, how do I stream? Ideas Eagle Fang. Well Eagle Fang, if you're in the chat. Jonathan, another one of my favorites, is in the chat. How you doing tonight, Jonathan? Mel says, I think Chance will get revenge on Devon having Abby, Gino and him, and destroy his marriage and family. So you think that Chance can go that far? I don't know, no. I, I've only started watching it not that long ago. So I don't really know um, like Chance's character too much. Kyrie says Victor Newman is a huge boy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, Kyrie. The great Victor Newman. Simon says no twins. I'm sick. <laughs> Simon just shut that whole thing down. Just shut it down right then and there. DC says for some reason I can't always relate something back to so. No, I mean, it, it, it makes sense. Johnson says I was just watching... A step by step. Wow. Old school TGIF, Jonathan. You you gonna you gonna watch some family matters after that? Maybe some boy meets world. Apple says they proves that step what? Apple says they proved that Asmi doesn't care about her baby. If she did, she wouldn't have jumped. I agree to disagree. You, you're, you have valid points. Let's put it that way. You have some valid points. I, I will say that much. Shauna says, Chance, a goofy, a goody, a goody good. Lisa says, This morning I told my mom she was giving, she was giving her to Canes. Thank goodness she knows who that is and got the reference. Damn. <laughs> That's a good one, DC. That's a good one. Dolly says, I can't understand why Victor is still involved in his middle aged children's love life. Because, you know, Dolly, he's a control freak. I mean, yeah, granted, that is laughable, but he's a control freak, though. You know? And he likes to say that he does his stuff out of love, but that's not the case, though. I don't know if there's some sort of midlife crisis or something, but yeah. 
He's he's definitely a control freak. Johnson says it's right. Oh, true TV. All wake up, man. You know, Johnson. I'm not gonna lie. I, I miss the old true TV. You know, and they had Operation Operation Repo, Hardcore Pawn. I mean, yeah, granted, I know those shows were fake, but they were fun. Like True TV just became uh, a sad version of Comedy Central. Denise said Cody's pick included since Maxie knew that Brit like Cody, even though she realized he wasn't good for her. Yeah, I guess. Oof, just about to spill on the floor and all over me. Oh yeah, Jonathan. Um has made survive. The question is, did the baby survive? Lauren says, yep, that's Cuckoo Burrs is still alive. That Cuckoo Burrs is still alive. Oh, you're answering this question. Never mind. Mel says, Victoria has to, um, Victoria, um, Victor has to control and power over his children and five. Yeah, that's what I'll say. He's, he's a control freak. He is a control freak. Um, Daisy Floss says, I like Drew and Carly. <laughs> You know, Daisy Fly, you are definitely a minority in that group. <laughs> so, um, I will say that much. I don't mind them. I don't really care one way or the other. Alpha says, don't really care if Esme surprised. Damn. <laughs> I mean, damn. <laughs> she, she's pregnant. <laughs> I mean, I can see if she wasn't pregnant then, but okay. Keep that same energy. I respect it. AJ says Carly and Drew have chemistry, but Drew deserves better than her. Oh. Rolly says it's crazy. Nick is like 55 years old, and Victor out oh, here has to protect them from bad girls. Yeah, that is laughable when you think about it. Johnson says Nancy from Days is on step by step. She is, isn't she? She is. I gotta sit there. Who who was her character? Oh, Jonathan, the good old days. Susan, what was her name? Susan Summers were was actually pretty hot back then. Karen says, "Are we are we ever going to um, find out GH Victor's master plan?" Exactly, Karen. It's been a whole year. Remember, he kept saying, "You're talking about oh, we gotta sit there and rally up for family, family." There's a storm that's coming. Oh, okay. I have one. You're, you're absolutely right, Karen. It's been a whole year. We still don't know anything about Victor's so so-called master plan. John on um, Johnson says she played Carol's sister on season one. Oh, okay. I gotta go back. I gotta I gotta see that. It'd be interesting to go back and see that again. Colin says maybe I should get a C character like Sammy Brady, K2 General Hospital. No, it will make it more interesting, Colin. What does it always like that? I don't know what that means. Um, AJ says Esme may not be the killer, but she probably knows who is responsible. It's a possibility. Ron is in the chat. Ron is bringing that energy. Ron is saying, so happy that Gabby learned the truth today. I wanted her to slap Lee Shen hard. She didn't do any of that. I, I, I'm going to be honest. It was kind of a, somewhat of a letdown. Wow, Dolly. She, that actress is getting around. But I guess you kind of have to, though. And yeah, Dolly, she was on Days of Our Lives for a while, like she was on there back in the day. I didn't even know that. Um, Colin says, okay, just wanted to bring back the phone. Play something like that. Somebody Rich Carson. I don't I, I don't I don't understand what that means. Um Yeah, I felt like it was underwhelming. Now, Kyrie says, I think Bill's going to play 
Captain Save a Hole and, and set, um, Sheila up to be locked up. I don't, I still don't, um, think, I still don't like Bill though. I don't know, Kyrie's. I feel like the force is very strong with, with Bill on this one. I feel like the, the dark force, whatever Star Wars reference you want to sit there and refer to. But I, I feel like this, and it's so over the top, but it's funny though. Like, I don't know. For me, I'm just, I'm finding this to be extremely funny. And he says, since the G's Nicholas character is fired, maybe he, he'll find Esme and transfer her to Casanova. Jessica says, was, was it me or did the whole killer look different in this episode? Kind of. You know what it is, Jessica? Because they actually showed the mask on his face. The mask on his face. Jonathan, I used to love hanging with Mr. Cooper. Oh my God. That, uh, that, Jonathan, when you said that, that just brought back such a rush of um, nostalgia. That was my show back then. I love Boy Meets World. Um, good old days. And of course, fam family matters. Shauna says, you know, Victor always wants Adam to run Newman. Nikki blackmailed her daddy for that position. Really? Hmm. Shakira says, okay. Rob is in the chat. What's good, Rob? Phil is crushing, cursing now Kyle and Summer on y and Oh. Okay. All right. You know, I, I'm, I'm not... Phil is, is acting like a 16-year-old little girl about that whole thing, and it's, it's laughable. It is laughable. I'm like, boo, you are a grandmother. What are you doing? Dolly says Bill's going to the dark side because he can't. <laughs> exactly. He got two rejections from two women in L.A., and apparently that was enough to send him over the edge. Not to mention that the dude, you know, he has looks, he has money, and it's L.A., but somehow two women rejecting him is going to cause him to go all psychopath and everything. Yeah, that makes sense. And the says, why didn't Sheila remind Steffi that Steffi shot Sheila back in the day? Really? I didn't know that. I mean, was she ever brought up on charges or anything? Nikisha said, you know, Nikisha, that, that actually was another good show, Sister, Sister. Sister, Sister was actually a good show. Yeah, Johnson, I used to, I used to love Family Matters. Family Matters was one of those shows where it's like, whenever they did serious topics, it didn't feel like it was forced. It didn't come across as cringy or anything like that. It just came across like, yo, listen, we can be funny. We could sit there and joke and laugh and have a good time. But we got to sit there and we got to get down to business and, and really, you know, tell a story. They'll tell a story. Same. I mean, it was, it was, Will Smith did that a lot. I mean, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air did that a lot. They knew how to introduce serious matters into their um into their sitcoms. Harry says it's ridiculous. Bill can't find another simple goal. <laughs> nobody tastes as a nobody tastes as a good as that one. How Mattress Brooke? I guess she's so irresistible. Oh, um, I don't know, Kyrie. So I know I'm going to probably get trolled for saying this, but you know, Brooke still, Brooke still got, Brooke still got a body. Okay, Brooke still has a body. There, I said it. Billy says the joke is Bill is a billionaire and actually good looking. He needs to just buy a sports car, date a mod exactly. You know, Jonathan, I think that's the one show I never got into. But yeah, Dolly, you are 100% right about that. Just, yeah, I, I never got into Smart Guy, Jonathan. I think that's the one show I never got into. Yes, Apple. I, you know, I'm not going to lie. When people listen to this saying, yo, that's a little Richie. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, no, Devon, the actor used to be on a show called Little Richie. I was like, Actually, I love Moesha as well, AJ. 
man, they had some really good shows back then. Moe's show actually was a really good show. Man. Whatever happened to that, whatever happened to um the rapper? He was on that show. I think his name is Onyx or something like that. He did that one interview with Charlemagne, and it was the most uncomfortable interview I've seen in a really long time. Ryan says, I hope that Wyatt and Flo return full time on BNB next year. If they give him a good story, I don't see why not. The Jeffersons also was good. Ryan says, I don't feel sorry for Billy. Oh, Billy going to the dark side because Kate. Yeah, it's it's so dumb. Uh, DC. Um, the Wayne's brothers. Yes, the Wayne brothers is also good. No, um, Jonathan, not 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 Ray J. It was another guy. Um, she was dating on a show. Um, he was kind of bald. He has that very. Like you don't want to mess with him, and it's it's, it's um the group is called Onyx. Yeah, these I don't exactly remember. He, he did an interview with this group called Onyx, and one of the guys' names was Sticky Fingers, and it seemed like they were actually going to get into a fight, like on the show because I guess Charlemagne brought up some sort of altercation that happened. And the dude was not feeling it, and they almost got into a fight in the in the radio show. Billy, yes, uh, a different world was actually pretty good. Yeah, that was another good show. They really, they really knew how to do black comedies back then. Yeah, no, DC, I, I do. Um, you know, it's it's weird. Um, DC. Because I, I like Charlemagne, and there's a lot of things that he does that is interesting and, and enlightening and educational. But there's also times that Charlemagne could just be a hypocrite. And I'm, I'm going to sit there and say it. There's times where Charlemagne could be a racist. Ron, the, James, the Jamie Foxx show. I think I... Tr- <laughs> I think I tried to watch the Jamie Foxx show. Um, I don't know, man. Jamie Foxx to me just wasn't funny. Like, he can sing like there's no tomorrow. But he just was not funny. Yes, wow, Jonathan, you would sit there and think that we would go up in the same house. In the house, it was a great show with L.O. Kuja. I used to really love his music back in the day. AJ says Charlemagne is okay. Yeah, he's he is okay. He is okay. Um, oh, Kyrie's all oh, my wife. And, yeah, Damon. Damon is is it's usually Damon Wayne's is, is usually has a thing for comedy. Yeah, that's very true, Nikisha. So, and, and the thing is, I mean, granted, their allegations. I was sitting there and said allegations because. No one was there, but the way he doesn't address it, and even the story that he gave, that he was at a party, then he left his party, and then stuff happened, and I'm just like, who leaves their party? You know what I'm saying? Like, who leaves their party? You know, who who leaves their own house with a bunch of people that they don't even know? You are 100% right on the case, Sherman. Maybe DC, maybe. I mean, he has money, so it's not like he doesn't work out. Yeah, Jonathan, Martin was another great shot. Martin, actually, I did like Martin a lot. I also feel, I also feel like Martin is one of those shows where it's like it was funny back then, but I don't know if I would, I don't know how well it would hold up now. Or maybe certain things he would say, I just wouldn't find as funny anymore. It's like married with children. Ron says, but Albert, how do you... you no, know, I never watched the Steve Harvey show. Never watched the Steve Harvey show. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I don't mind Steve Harvey. I think he's actually pretty funny, but... 
AJ says, I love that. So Raven. Oof. <laughs> we're gonna have to disagree. We're gonna have to agree to disagree on that one because Raven Simone is um is not someone that I really care for. Freddie says new edition going on tour. Next. Wow, they actually still do music, Freddie. Laura says flavor of love basically. Flavor of love. Oof. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Yeah, no, I'll spread, I'll spread quick. Yeah, she, I mean, Brit is always looking fire. Even when she's in scrub, she she looks she looks fire. You know, I never actually watched the Parker's car race. And I'll actually tell you the truth, with everything that um Monique has been saying and doing, uh I just I can't get past it. But I did used to watch a lot of, I used to watch a lot of, um, Moesha. And I know they were on there. Now DC says, apparently that girl from Show Me Party did an interview about him. Uh, yeah, that's very true, DC. Yeah, he, um, she did an interview with Star, um, from Star and Buck Wild. And, you know, again, it's one of those things where it's like we weren't there. So I'm not going to sit there and judge him pretty harsh, which is why I said it was allegations. One on one. I do remember vaguely watching one on one, Jonathan. The game. Yeah, I never got into the game, Shakira. But apparently they actually have it back on on, on um, Paramount. Laura says, okay. Lady Flower says it is on HBO Max. Oh, okay. He she says, like, I don't get how social was okay with Michael Jackson. Yeah. Oh, I have to say, yeah. Yeah, no, you, you're 100% right, DC. People let that go like there was no tomorrow. People were sitting there saying, oh, we never appreciated um, um, MJ. And I was like, do you know all the stuff that he used to sit there like, no, um, you know, Spider Quake. I'll, I'll say this, Spider Quake. Um, Brit is prettier, but Sam has a better body. <laughs> I'm sorry, she has a better body. Um, but yeah, no, I, I I totally agree with you on that, DC. I do. Apple says, "What are you talking about, DC?" Decided was all of my own. Oh, let him off easy. Mel says there will be a house. Yeah, no, I, I heard about the house party movie. You know, I'm not going to lie, Mel. After part two, I just kind of stopped. Um, I mean, good luck. Um, I just, I don't know. After part two, I just kind of stopped. Yeah, AJ, it just, it just wasn't for me. I, it looked like it was a cool show, but. Freddie, yes, she does. Janet Jackson is still fire. All the way, all the way. She is still fire. Ron says, so when Kristen finds out that Brady played his part in the kidnapping of Rachel, I hope he loses custody for being stupid and reckless. I mean, you know, he's just going to sit there and dress it up like, oh, Uncle Eric just took out Rachel for a little adventure. AJ says, I don't get... I don't really get into white shows like that, but I love watching The Nanny. Hmm. I can't get past the left. Jonathan, Keenan and Cal. Keenan and Cal. You know, when they did the whole Josh and Drake thing, I was like, man, that's just a that's just a ripoff of Keenan and Cal. Right quick says, I think if it was the same a few years back ago, she looks better than Brett now, but I think Brett looks better. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, <clears throat> I don't really have a lot of use for, for, for Sam, but Kelly Monaco has a body. <laughs> Point blank period. It's like pretty versus hot. Hot is generally always going to win out at the end. Well, actually, personality is always going to win out at the end, but. 
Somewhat. Um, <laughs> Mel says, if it was not for Chloe taking the judge from Hard Brady. Yeah, that's very true. DC says, I see Days got a new set for Gabby and shit. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Cal loves orange soda. See, Jonathan, that's why I always appreciate having you in the chat. Who loves orange soda? Cal loves orange soda. Right? Oh, I love um, Drake and Joss. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's probably a good show. But maybe maybe also I just kind of grew out of Nickelodeon at that point. And I started watching stuff like The Grassy. Exactly, exactly, AJ. See, you're another person I love in the chat. She definitely does fight it quick. You know, Mel, I, I don't know. I think there was a point where I used to really love Chris Rock. And then I saw one of his comedy specials and it wasn't funny. And I just, I just could not get back into him again. Fight Quick says, I think Sam looks good when she wears black. That we can 100% agree on, Spider Quake. 100% agree on. Mel says, I love Dr. Pe <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Hmm. AJ says, Zoe. And um, yeah, I never, I never got into Zoe 101. And then the whole Jamie Lear Spear, I mean the Jamie Spears or Jamie Lee Spears thing. How the how, how the hell you say her damn name? Yes, she here. She is hot. Ron says, "What a coincidence that you and Phoenix are doing, are on tonight, but he's doing." <laughs> Ron, I feel like you say that sometimes just to make me laugh and bless your heart. Denise says, does anyone know what month the Chase Nurses Ball is featured? I think it was supposed to be featured this year, but they did the picnic instead. Oh, Anna is in the chat. Anna, how you doing tonight, Anna? Thank you for joining. It's always great to see some new faces in the chat. Have you ever, heard, have you ever seen City Guys? No, I haven't. I just said Chris Rock isn't that funny. You know, maybe he's not that funny. He was funny to me when I was a child. When I was a teenager, but to be fair, a lot of stuff was funny to me. And it's not funny to me anymore, so there's that. Um, Curry says, George Lopez show. You know, he's actually coming back with another show, too. On Peacock, I think. I don't know. He never really did a funny. Oh, AJ says, Jamie Lee Spears. Okay, thank you. Thank you, AJ. Now, Shakira said, Girlfriends was a good show. I think that was another show I just... You know, the thing about Girlfriends is that when Girlfriends got canceled and then Sex and the City kept getting more movies, people got so upset with Sex and the City, which had nothing to do with Girlfriends. Even Charlamagne was like, well, they got more money to sit there and do Sex and the City stuff, but they don't got no money to do Girlfriends, which were totally different. Yes, I love Hey Arnold. Yes, Spider Quake. Like I said, that girl had it going on. Oh, she still does. Mel says, did you like Scrubs? Um, no. I, I think I just, I missed that comedy boat. Chuck is another show that I missed. Yes, Arnold and that football. I used to love Arnold. I don't. I don't think that Rocco Mod Rocco's Modern Life was ever really that funny. I think it was more funny because I was a kid. And Johnson says I have to admit the Nurses Boy had more interesting storylines than what than what we're getting now. Really. 
I used to, yeah, well, you know, the thing is, John, you know, I used to fast forward through all the nurses, all the performances and stuff like that, which is fast forward through it. I just, I couldn't get into it. See, man, this is not, this, this is another reason why you're one of my favorites. I used to love Doug and Rugrats, although I would sit there and think that Doug is probably not that interesting anymore. Have a good night, Freddie, and Happy New Year to you. Thank you for joining the stream. It's always great to see you in the chat, so thank you so much. Now, Anna says, I'm going to work again, and we'll have to just listen mostly. Okay. Well, I appreciate you just stopping by and just saying what's up. And don't worry, Anna, I'm going to get your name at some point. Um, but I hope you're cool with me calling you Anna for a while. Shana says, okay. Yeah, Shigeru, Rugrats was actually a really fun show. And it was it was really ahead of their times. When you really think about it. I'm not going to get into the Pacifics because I don't want to get canceled. But let's just sit there and say they were ahead of their times. Rugrats says, I used to watch the name because the actors playing. Back to play. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, the thing is, this is why they couldn't take Victor seriously because he used to be on the net. Now it says, I love The Simpsons. You know, it's funny. No, I used to love The Simpsons, right? And then I started watching Family Guy. And then The Simpsons just didn't do it for me anymore. Although I did used to love the Halloween specials. The Halloween specials was actually, maybe because I was a kid, was legit scary to me. Johnson says some of the old stories during the nurse's ball were like Sonny and Carly found out. That's very true. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate it. And thank you, know, just thank you for joining. And, you know, I want to support just you being here, even if you're just listening. Now, Victoria says the guy who was supposed to be protecting Josh is going to get if yeah, exactly. Really? Went today? Wow, I didn't wow. Yeah, gee, this is news to me. I one hundred percent agree with that, Kyrie's. Josh just sit there and be like, oh no, I don't need no protection. Plus, she was bad mouth and sunny. Ugh. I agree with you, Kyrie. Oh, okay. All right, Daisy Farm. Ron, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You talking about the the comedy or or the the, um, the show that we have now, or the drama? Mel said, "I I love King of the Hell." No, King of the Hell. Kind of reminded me of Beavis and Butthead. Maybe because of how it was drawn. And be, you know, I also didn't say, and just to kind of end it on this, I don't even think that Beavis and, but Beavis and Butthead is funny anymore. It might have been funny at one point, but I don't know. I think I was a lot more... My expectations were not that high when I was a kid. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, Denise says, do you think that GH will replace Sonny or Sonya Eddie sometime after her character? Nope. I think if they did that, it would just be disrespectful. I think I think it would just be disrespectful if they did that. Oh, did you fly your Josh fan? Okay. No, yeah, I I used to love the original one years, yes. I don't know about this new one. Oh, by the way, is the new one actually still on the air? Yeah, I, I grew up on the one years, man. Um Fred Savage. And Johnson says my coolest plotting against Sonny isn't a component storyline. It's annoying. Yeah, Jonathan, is it's stupid. It is just it's it's dumb. It's it's in all reality, it's hypocritical, and it's just going to wind up backfiring on his family. And Ron says the comedy. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. I don't know, Ron. You know, I tried to get into that show, but I was more of a Martin fan, and I think it's because with Martin, I actually liked all the other characters, and I couldn't say that for the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. 
Shakira says I love Family Guy and I used to love South Park. Oh. This is why we get along, Shakira. Lady Flower says Family Guy is a hit and a miss. I can see that. I can see that. Ooh, J. Yeah, I actually did used to like um Daria. Yeah, in reality, Daria actually was a better show than Beavis and Butthead. But see, because I was a kid and didn't know any better, I thought that that was like the funniest and most fun show on earth. And it it really wasn't. <laughs> it really wasn't. Um, Mel says, yeah, I should love Kevin Winnie. And Paul, oh, Winnie, 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 Winnie. I remember when Winnie was on that movie called Sidekick. I think I've seen that movie like about 10 times in the movie theaters when it was out. And then it was, and then it was that, that was, it was that um, rumor that Paul Pfeiffer or the actor that played Paul Pfeiffer and um, who's the guy? Mel, um, Marilyn Manson was the same person. Exactly. You know, 100%, AJ, I was like, that was completely disrespectful. It was. It was It was, It was. was completely disrespectful. You know, and again, and this is why I said in my review, if, if Dante had started talking smack about, jo um, about Jax, she would not mind it. She, she, she would have had a problem with that. Oh, Jonathan, yeah. I wish I could mute Josh scenes um, sometimes. But because, you know, I do the whole review thing, I can't really. Pamela is in the chat. Pamela said, why did GH put Cody in that video? Yeah, I didn't I didn't really understand that either. And by the way, how you doing tonight, Pamela? Now, Johnson says, I remember Wayne would always call Kevin a butt hell one year. Didn't they, yeah, Johnson, didn't they kill his character off? Then they kill his character off some week on throughout that show. What happened to the what happened to the new Wonder Years? Oh, Kyrie's, yeah. <laughs> SpongeBob. I used to have an ex-girlfriend that used to love SpongeBob. And I mean like she used to I think she still does love SpongeBob. Yeah, AJ, I, I, again, my, my expectations are a lot lower back then. Oh, she cares. South, um, um, South Park's still good. I don't know. I can't, I can't get past the drawing. But hmm. maybe I just didn't give it a chance. Now, Ron says, I'm confident that Days of Our Lives will be the overall Emmy winner for next year because they robbed Days last time. Damon's in the chat. What's good, Damon? Victoria says Josh is definitely Carly's um daughter for better or worse. Damon says, I don't think the whole killer is Heather. Yeah, especially with the whole mask now. Josh says, no, that was. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Johnson. Okay. It just said maybe because they wanted to goodbye to the actress. Oh, okay. All right, Jonathan. Okay. All right. Thank you for clearing that out. Now, Denise says the guy who was supposed to watch Josh when she had car trouble didn't get in trouble. Bad bodyguards. Yeah. They, they definitely slacking. They're yeah, definitely slacking. And Mel says they always like, Killing South Park. Yeah, it was just a show I never really got into. People used to love that show like there was no tomorrow, but I just never got into it. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Jay Bloom. Thank you. I was wondering about that show. I know a lot of people just they had so much issues with that show. Like so even before the show came out, they were like, no, this is this just you know, being woke and this, that, and the third thing. You know, a lot of people felt like it was just unnecessary. Let's 
Here it says, I'm starting, I'm starting back watching South Park and Park Kenny. Yeah, Jay Blue. I just, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it was just one of those things I just couldn't really. I just never really gave it a chance. And he says, gotta go, Albert. Thank you for what you do. Please take care of you. Thank you, Denise. I definitely will. And thank you for joining. It's always nice to see a new face. It is always nice to see a new face. So I hope you stick around. Amy says, I have to say this, but the Hulk have a sh sharp seeing her legs. I was like, who has a nice who has a nice shit? Oh. <laughs> uh, Damien, I love it. The one is has some behind scenes issues, but yeah. Yeah, I heard about that, Victoria. I, I heard about that. And then the um the mom was Smith defending, because I think it has something to do with like allegations of essay harassment. I didn't find that out until like last year, though, Victoria. That's the thing that was so crazy. You know, I feel like if, if we would have had, you know, better access to computers and the internet, I would. So many people would have been canceled. Oof. Starting with, I forgot his name. It'll come to me. One says. So many people are saying now is the hook killer. I hope not. Hmm. I don't know, Mel. Like, you know, it's it's weird. Well, after after Martin, after the show Martin, I couldn't get into any of his movies if it wasn't bad for but I just felt like at that point they just toned him down a little bit too much. As he says, but the whole killer may be a short man posing as a woman. That's it's possible. Oh, Graham TV is in the chat. What's good, Graham TV? It is possible. Now Johnson says, I said it before and I'll say it again. I still think it's ADR. Yep, no. Jonathan is, is ten toes down with that theory. And I love it. Now, Krista is in the chat says I think Kelly is leaving permanently and therefore Britt will be hooked by yeah. That is the running theory, Krista. <clears throat> Crystal Williams is in the chat. What's good? Here it says it's a new movie called Hurricane. Oh wow, okay. Oof. Why do I feel like I've seen? <coughs> well, I've seen. I might have actually seen that before. How are you doing tonight, Crystal Williams? Yeah, Cree. Yeah, um, Kyrie uh, agrees. Agrees with you, Jonathan. No, it says Winnie had a brother named Brian. Oh, okay. Okay, for some odd reason, I thought it was his brother. But I, you know, no, I do remember that other rumor, the actor that plays Paul Pfeiffer, or played Paul Pfeiffer, they thought it was Marilyn Manson. Like, and that was like this, I don't know if it, was, it could be considered an urban legend, but that was the running theory for a while. You know, AJ, I don't remember the bulky part. I gotta go back to I do I remember the woman part, but I don't remember the bulky part. And Angela Angela Angelique was in the chat and she was saying that you know it could be Maurice Bernard's son. Although I still would have to find a motive behind that though. Mel says Kevin was in love with Winnie, but Winnie Cooper, yeah. Yeah, Chris, oh, it was beautiful outside today. I mean, uh, Chris, I'm assuming that you live in New York to say that. Maybe. But yeah, it was. I didn't even... I never know how to dress anymore. That's the problem. I never know how to dress anymore. Okay, yeah, I never know how to dress anymore. I feel like that's probably why I get so sick. <clears throat> Ron says, Albert, I'm sure the actor who played 
back to who was on Young the Wrestler. <laughs> yes, yes, Rod, I love it. <laughs> uh, Johnson says, I bet Christina won't be happy with Michael for White. Yeah. He, she definitely won't be. Angelique, um, Angelique said, yes, I'm here. Okay, cool. I didn't know, I didn't know if he was, I didn't know if he was still here or not, so. Angelique. Angelique says, unless there are two killers on the loose, a man and a woman. That could be, yeah. And Curry says, two and a half men with Charlie Sheen. The first eight seasons was amazing. It did seem like a funny show. And, and, you know, I think by then, at that point, I couldn't really get into, like, sitcoms, but it did seem funny. Now, Josh says, let's see Josh talk smack about Sonny while Christina's in the room. Oh, that'd be so epic. That'd be so epic, Jonathan. You know, I noticed that they don't really share a lot of scenes together. They don't share a lot of scenes together. And it sucks, because actually do... You don't really see them say a lot of scenes together, but especially now. Ooh. Crystal Williams says lawyers are always the best way you can always take off. Daisy Flower says Christina in the past hated son. Yes, yeah, she did. But I think, you know, as she told you, that's what makes their relationship so much more epic. Because um of their past relationship. Yeah, it was Crystal Williams. It was. It, it definitely was. And, and it honestly, tried to, it made you want to sit there and watch the next episode. Now, Ron says, and I hope that Michael gets hope for trying to come up to Sonny. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of people can always hope. I don't know. I still like Michael for some odd reason, even though I find him to be a hypocrite and kind of an idiot. No, no, I, I, what did he do if y'all mind me asking? Ron says, uh, what did he do? So much stuff is coming out now. It's just crazy. Harry says, Crystal will, cur um, Harry says, Christina, uh, Christine, um, Christina will curse Joss out. I will be here for me too. Tyrone is in the chat. What's good, Tyrone? Lady Flow says a lot when people talk about Josh and Michael talking about Sonny. Shakira says, yeah, look good and Hurricane Katrina. There's no joke. Yeah, I I, I could have swore I seen a um preview of that. You know, Damon, yeah, that somebody was saying that earlier in the chat too. Somebody was saying that earlier in the chat that she may have a she may have a twin. AJ Flow says Christina try for two years to make Sunny Pang. Yeah, she did. She was annoying as hell. I'm not gonna lie, DJ Flow. When she when she first came on, I couldn't stand Christina. And the only time I actually had sympathy for her was with the whole Kiefer thing. But I didn't I didn't actually start to like her until she was more tolerable with Sunny. Yeah, no, no, AJ, no. I mean, I'm talking about, like, this is, like, back in the day. Um, you know, they, they had such an attentious relationship. And I kind of understood it from Christina's point of view. I mean, I understood it from Sonny's point of view, but I, you know, I got it from both sides. Harry says, but if Esme is pregnant with triplets, I'll say that. Daisy Flaw says she would understand why Jaws hate had a hate for Sonny. Yeah, the old, yeah. The old Christina would. And you know, when you really think about Daisy Flaw, it's kind of the opposite. I mean, for the most part, Jaws is actually really cool with Sonny. And only up until now, she starts to really hate him. 
and Christina couldn't stand Sonny from jump. But now she's not there really loving him and helping him out and everything like that. Um, you know, even with the whole Carly thing, although she did kind of bust that, but Mel said, I love the two Corey shows. What Corey shows? You mean like Corey's in the house? Ron says, so as May with all her celebration in Ava's face when the news about her and Nicholas baby. You know, Ron, that's assuming that that um you know the baby survived. That's assuming that the baby survived. Did you fly says she said that she heard her mom cry when Sonny was gone. Then he cheats on Carly and destroys the family. It's hard. It's hard to hear her parents cry. No, I, I, I get it. I do. Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not. I, I get that part, but it doesn't make Jocelyn any less of a hypocrite because of it, though. Now, Tyrone says Esme is working her out of Windermere. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not saying you know, just. I mean, um, Daisy Fly. I'm not saying just saying that she doesn't have her a right to be, you know. But, you know, my whole thing is, like, you know, people in relationships, you know, they have ups and downs, you know. She was all Lila Vida Loco with Sunny when, you know, her and, her and Carly were happy. And so, you know, no, 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 that, no, 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 no. I'm going to have to agree and disagree with you on that. It still makes her come across as a hypocrite, you know. Yeah, parents fight, and I understand you're taking sides and stuff like that. And this was not the first time, but no, boy, to sit there and go out straight out and be like, "Oh, I hate Sunny now." Nah, boo. Nah, it, it, it don't it don't work that way. No, nah, I ain't feeling that. I respectfully agree to disagree with you on that, Daisy Flyer. Mel says, "Coy, oh." Yeah, I never, I never seen any, I never seen any of their movies. I never seen any of their movies. Tyrone says Josh thinks Sonny has shady connections and dirty money. Yeah, well, you know, Tyrone, she always thought that. She always knew that. You know, this isn't new for her. This is why, you know, this whole oh, well, Sonny is a bad person now, and Michael's like Sonny is a bad person now. Like they knew damn well that Sonny was a bad person before. Okay. The flaw says it happens in real life, so why not? I, I I'm not I'm not saying that it doesn't happen in real life, Daisy Flower. That doesn't make it anything less of a hypocrite. Of um, like I said, Daisy Flower, I'm I'm gonna agree to disagree with you on that. Um, because at the end of the day, it's she still comes across as a hypocrite. Her and Michael come across as a hypocrite. You know, Joss knew where that money was coming from. You know, she knew what Sonny's life was about. And it was all good and fine until, you know, they started having problems in their marriage. And now she's all like, she's on a hate train with Sonny. So, no. No, one minute she's fine, the next minute it can happen in real life. It doesn't, ne it doesn't necessarily make you less of a hypocrite. That is very true, Daisy Flower. Uh, a lot of people in Port Charles are hypocrites, but we're not talking about everyone. I'm, I'm specifically talking about Joss. Um... Now, Ron says Spencer better prepared to cry. <laughs> oh, Ron, 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 Ron. You're too funny. Harry says, exactly, it's none of Josh's business besides Carly was over Sunny because she really slept with Jason. Yeah. I guess you're I, I, exactly right, Kyrie. She forgot about that little bit of a detail. Um... They just said yes, they yes they are. But no, I mean they, they all are. But I mean <laughs> I, I don't know what to say about all that. <laughs> Again, I'm also not talking about all the characters or in Port Charles. I'm literally talking about Joss. 
Yeah, AJ, they are hypocrites. They surely are. Punk World. How are you doing tonight, Punk? Um, pun Is it Pun World or Punk World? My quick says Carl is a huge hypocrite. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like Daisy Flowers said, you know, there's a lot of people on Port Charles that are hypocrites in some form of way. So she is one of many. She says that will be nice. Okay. Exactly. No, that's what makes soap operas soap operas. AJ says Sonny needs to get his nine bio kids. Sonny needs to get his nine bio kids. I don't know what that means. Johnson says, I'm also tired of Michael and Josh talking high and mighty. Exactly. They they were <laughs> they weren't talking high and mighty when it, with the good old days when they were married and everything like that. And nah, I'm just, I ain't trying to hear all that. Ron says, man, I miss Philip on days. I want him paired with Wendy. I don't know. I feel like that may be kind of rocking the cradle to some extent. And I honestly tell you too, Wendy. But I, I I will agree with you. I do miss I do miss some what you call it, Philip. The the writers actually made me root for Philip. Kyrie says, "Okay, you're talking to." Um, AJ says Michael and Josh and Michael aren't. Oh, okay. All right, my bad, AJ. Angelique says. Michael is being the biggest hypocrite because he is at one point had to take over. That is very true. That is very true. <clears throat> on top of the on top of the fact that he was quote unquote the favorite child. So, you know, there's that. But yes, you are right about that, Angelique. You are 100 percent right about that. But with that being said. I do have to wake up early in the morning and it is about to be 10 o'clock. Oh, I hope you'll come. Yeah, me too. And it is about to be 10 o'clock and I got to wake up at four in the morning. So I think I'm going to probably end this stream. Um, but I do want to wholeheartedly thank every single person in the chat. Um, even the people that's just listening, I want to thank you so much. Um, thank you, Kyrie, again. For the donation. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Daisy Flowers, for coming in and chopping it up. Um, and like I said, you know, I I agree just I agree to disagree, but it's it's all it's all with love though. Same thing with AJ. You know how it is. Um Happy New Year, Jonathan. Thank you. Happy New Year, Spider Quake. Have a good night, Ron. Thank you for joining. Happy New Year, AJ. Thank you. Um, Shakira says, okay. I want to thank every single person for joining the stream tonight. This was so great. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. Have a good night. See you on Tuesday. Okay. All right, AJ. I'll see you on Tuesday then. Yes, I am, Spider Quake. I am going to be streaming Monday. You know how I do Monday through Fridays. Happy New Year, Angelique. Thank you for joining. So I look forward to seeing you on Monday if you're gonna be if you're gonna be down on Monday, Spider Quake. Happy New Year, Mel. Happy New Year, um Jay Blue. Have a good night. Um AJ. Thank you. This was a lot of fun. Every single person in here makes my night. So thank you. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Every person here means the world to me. So, all right, before I start getting all misty eyed and, you know, um, this is us, which I still got to sit there and see. Lady Fly says, all poor Charles is full of hypocrites. No, they are. I mean, you know, again, Daisy Fly, I'm not, 
I'm not disagreeing with you on that. And like I said, Diggy Fly, you know, it's it's all love when we sit there and talk and disagree and stuff like that. So don't take anything that I say too personal, you know. AJ and Spider Quake knows, and along with Samuel, that we just, you know, we, we are at it sometimes. So it is, it's all love. It's all love, Diggy Fly. But thank you for joining us. Happy New Year, Shakira. Thank you. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. <laughs> Trust me, Spider Quick, I know what you mean. And you know what? Honestly, to tell you the truth, being hypocrite is what makes the show fun. Have a good night, Daddy Flower. Thank you. Have a good night, Shakira. And if I did not sit there and say good night to you, and I love you, and I appreciate you just for being here and just chopping it up with me. Um, Spider Quick says me and I will be disagreeing about <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly Spider Quick. But you know, at the end of the day, you know it's all love, down. Exactly. But it's it's fun now, you know. It's fun, and I I couldn't imagine I couldn't imagine a stream without having that sort of you know fun and and just back and forth you know debates. So, thank you, everyone. Stay safe. And um, I will see everyone in Monday's stream. And by the way, again, I'm going to sit there and say this again. I am going to say Spider Quake. But it's all good, Spider Quake. You know, it's all love. It's all love. Like I said, um, I'm working on another collab, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that, because it's going to be a surprise. And I don't think it's anyone that people are going to expect it to be. So I'll say that much. All right, everyone, stay safe. Have a great New Year's Eve. Please be safe, because, you know, a lot of craziness happens on New Year's Eve. Um, so just stay safe, everyone, and thank you for just being here. All right, have a good night, buddy. Quick, have a good night, everyone. Stay safe and stay safe, Shakira. <laughs>